time james they said it, they couldn't, said be it couldn't be done and we did it we blooming did it nine I mean, it, PM. at least one person Bus- said it couldn't be done and we did it we started on time and then i realized yeah. as soon as i i waited till nine o'clock and then i clicked play on the music and then i remembered that there was a lag and i was terrified that we would have started the music at one minute past nine but i think we oh. did it we're in we're, we're in good. it's on it's yeah, happening we're good. you're all right I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, we kind of messed up the being on time thing by spending about a minute talking about how we started on time. Yes. yes. Welcome. And we could probably stretch this out for two more minutes before it starts properly. <laughs> Till about ten past nine. Actually, we can't. Can... Because no? this, this, no, are this we, are we live supposed stream. To be better we, than yeah, normal. Yeah, James, there's there's pressure on here. This show, this live stream, is part of the Twinge Festival, which means we have to do it in a tight, a tight 60 minutes. Concise. Yeah, a tight, because normally we make our 30-minute podcast for. over a period of, of two to three yeah. hours, but not yeah. today. Now it's got to be set up, punchline, beginning, middle, end. Boom. Can you do it? Um, yes, I can. Most of the time, not now. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, tight like drunk, ask, pl- asks Pleasant Witch, perhaps. How is that? Where on earth is tight a euphemism for drunk? Uh, in 1930s America, James. Sorry. Is it? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Have you not, have tight, you not listened to any tight. blues music? Yeah. He was out so, there. He was out all night getting tight. Yeah, absolutely. He was tighter than a duck's bottom. <laughs> is because it's soaking wet. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's how that works. <sighs> So just in case we've got a few people from the from the twinge who don't know what's going on. Yes, hi twinge. Shall I do the intro? Welcome to Lawmen, a podcast slash live stream about obscure curiosities from day. I said it wrong, didn't I, James? Yeah, about, and local legends from about days local of yore. legends and obscure curiosities from days of yore. I'm Alistair. Like when someone reads your telephone number out wrong, and I'm James Shakeshaft. <laughs> James' full name is telephone number wrong, time. James Shakeshaft. Yeah. <laughs> I am an eccentric landowner and James is an orphan who I yep. took in and driving and a nurtured. tiny car apparently <laughs> according to some viewers. <laughs> James is he has, uh, he has no bottom mm. half and so he he goes around the halls of our mansion in a tiny car. It's tragic mm. and endearing at the same time. Yeah, it's like the one that they used in the Euros um but like an older model. Yeah. That's diesel. Yeah, more and of a toad of toad hall affair with a sort of burp, burp kind of horn. Mm, welcome, mm. welcome, lovely Mayhem Mystic, who is joining us in the live stream for the first time. Well, for oh, all welcome. you know, we always start on time. This is representative, maybe. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this is absolutely standard. We always start on time and bang on about how on time it is. Yeah. And how we're showing everyone. <laughs> Yes, and we by I no means do time. this by running an Ethernet cable through a cat flap into James's mm. shed. That's not. Yeah, it's a very high tech setup. There was one. I think one of the last two streams actually. It was so balmy at night that we could oh, keep the balmy. back door open. It, it was right balmy. Not now. A chill. A chill has descended, and now we uh, we're we're re cat flapped. I was thinking about the word cat flap because. Mm. It's one of those things, the more you say it, the more unpleasant it becomes as a, as a word. Americans say doggy door, which is adorable. 
Is that Whereas, like the whole bum bag fanny pack? I really think. I, yes, yes. Except I think we're on the fanny pack end of the equation with cat flap. Uh, there's no way. There's no way doggy door is doggy door is nice and family friendly. Cat flap sounds has a threatening aura. Well, did I ever mention about the time I tried to buy a cat flap from a local? Well, not local. From a very one of those small door massive, shop. Yeah, one of those big old shops. Mm. that you get on in like shopping est- estates that's just the name's just made up of letters and ampersands no please tell me the cat flap story so i went in and the person i went up to the desk because i didn't i didn't know where to go for cat flaps i don't know if it's going to be indoors <laughs> direct section. me to your cat flap aisle yeah <laughs> or is it going to be in the kitchen it depends because i needed it for the kitchen but i'm sure right, that not yeah. everybody uses it is it cat indoor flap in their kitchen it's yeah. It's not even clearly an indoor outdoor item because it is on the. It's it's a. Li- is there a liminal section to to this? Yeah. Shop. So I thought I'd ask them in the simplest way possible and said, "Do you have any cat flaps?" And the man looked at me like I spat in his tea. He just <laughs> was abhorred, and he was like, "And I." He, he, said, was, he was like, "No, we sell the whole cat all together. You can't just have a segment." He he um he had an accent that I'm not going to do because um we've established that unless it's Mrs Doubtfire we were sorry for newer newcomers we've established that unless it's Mrs Doubtfire or County Mayo I can't do that accent yeah yeah um but I think he was from Spain or somewhere and he was like what are you talking about and I said have you got any cat flaps and he still looked baffled and again abhorred and I said. You know, um, the little door for the cats, and he. Porto de gato. He. Por favor. <laughs> yes. I don't yes. know. That could be Italian. It could just be noises. What I just said, but I think I might have just said something like "cat door, please" in Spanish. And he, so he got in his little on a little sort of Bluetooth headset and called to the back and was like, "Have we got like like disbelievingly?" Uh, do I like, have do a, ha- a cat flap? He said, do we have the little doors for the cats? Like thinking they're going to go, this man's an idiot. <laughs> and then he, and then I saw him hear the answer and went, yeah, cat flap. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I was right all along. I won that time. That's how you end a story. So amazing, st- yeah, like amazing you, story about going, you knowing English right. better than a foreigner. Well done, James, for knowing English <laughs> yeah. better than... A man just trying to make a life for himself in England. Well I know, but what a victory! I felt put out that he'd been so offended by me asking for a cat flap. Basically, <laughs> well, I was trying to, to help say, my cat. You had the last lap. Cooper. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to help Cooper, and he was he was making me out that I was the baddie. Yep. No, that was, you're a hero, James. Thank you. Uh, you might see Claire, Claire Fox has just posted a PayPal link there. If you want to support the Twinge Festival in general uh, and also mm. the charity Mind, you can go to PayPal and you can send them some quids or currencies of your own choosing. Um, I'm guessing, I think some of it will yeah. come back to us. But if you want to give money yeah. to us and specifically not to charity, if you actually want to yes. hinder charity, you can see yeah. our Patreon link. And, that, and none of that will help anybody apart from me and no. James. But if you want to help charity... Uh, go to the uh, the paypal.com donate and there are several letters yeah. that I'm not going to read out. Is it that way? That way? Is it that way? That way. That way. In there. In there for everyone else and to charity. So like literally yeah. everyone or down here for a man that bullies people for who just... works in <laughs> for a man who hates warehouses and also Alistair. So yeah, so this isn't this podcast isn't mainly about times James got won over on Spaniards. It's also about <laughs> folklore. So have you I, got a story? Apparently, for I'm him? a bit Spanish. I did a test. Are you? That, I mean, that's not my. Um, some of my best friends are Spanish. <laughs> Get out! I just some thought of my I'd best knees are Spanish. <laughs> my well, friend not means, Spanish all at all. My friend means. As as a no? new Spanish person, I'm no, no, no. I'll surprise you. Um, bit Catholic. Mm. That's kind of the same, right? You're, you're as Spanish as Sean Connery in Thailand. In every film that Sean Connery's in, but including <laughs> yeah. ones where he's supposed to be Spanish. Yes, I am uh, Cortez. Is that what he's called? Can't remember. I just thought he was just called the Spaniard. The Spaniard. Yeah. But 
I don't, I've not really seen the film. It's so for we're 20 having cart years. Flaps. And... Cart flaps. I'll check. Hold on a moment. Cart it's, flaps. It's the little door for the cart. Yes, it's a little cart door. Oh, I guess apparently we do have them. <laughs> well, I look like I a I'll... fool. <laughs> it is indoors. Jaime oh. Shekshaftes suggests Jim Moon. Yeah, that, that works. Ah. James. It's a Spanish yeah. Name. And my name would be Alessandro Roy. I can't do I can do Beckett. Alessandro Roy, that's quite... Alejandro Roy, Roy yeah, I like it. Is, is Roy Spanish for king or is that French? Doesn't matter. Let's we're, not. We're on the clock, James. We, yeah, we're, we don't we're, have any yeah, more this time. This is us being concise. Being concise. And most of it so far has just been an anti-Spanish diatribe. So let's draw a so line far. under that. Well, I've got stuff. I've got some Cornish stuff, which kind of ties into Spain. Because yeah. they did a lot of trade with Spain yeah. back in the day. Well, um, where but, was the Armada arriving? Had it arrived? Cornwall, for, for all I know. Presumably it's the nearest Probably. bit. Yeah. But it's such a drive. Oh, it's such a drive, having just been on holiday there. Um, but where I'm talking is Penryn, which is a coastal town on the south, like very, right down the end, just before Penzance, kind of. The Lizard, I think it's called that bit. The um, Lizard? The Lizard Peninsula. Oh, is that... Apparently so-called because they, people thought there was a, re, a type of race of lizard people that lived there. That... Sorry, is this in history or is this in Doctor Who? Uh, folklore. Uh, folklore, there were a race of lizard people who lived in Penzance to the extent that it became known as the Lizard I Peninsula. I don't know if it's tied into the whole... Li I don't know if that's why it's called the Lizard Peninsula, but... Um, yeah, I've got it in my Cornish Legends book, Ooh. which is uh, a reprinting of Popular Romances of West England, published in 1865. Wow, I don't want to alarm you, James, but we've got um, Barker Nine, who is uh, Penryn born and a raised lizard. in the chat. So yeah, po who a potential is lizard there. That's, a lizard. That's one potential lizard. Um, and they're very offended. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's made my blood run cold. That's not a diss. <laughs> No. James can say really that because he's actually a little bit lizard. <laughs> yeah. It's not yeah, offensive. the lizard people. Uh, there's a tradition. I'm going to read this out now. And if this is horrible, because it was written in Victorian times, uh, I will stop reading that. <laughs> okay, just stop in the um, middle of a word, ideally. Uh, there's a tradition that the lizard people uh, went around on all fours till the crew of a foreign vessel wrecked on the coast settled among them and... Um, it says improved them. I think it means bred with uh, because uh, it changed their physical development right. quite a lot to mm. be more biped. And they actually ended up becoming very large, tall people, many of the men and women being over six feet in height. Not bad. Presumably not the children because that would be too much. You're over six feet in height, aren't you, James? I am. You could be one of and them. I have I mentioned Dark Marianne on here before? It rings a bell. She, she may, she may be Cornish. Ah, well, that's one. We of the, don't that's really one know your, where DMA comes from. Is that she right? She could be lizard person. Maybe I am a little bit lizard. We're all. I do like all... a lie down after a meal. Yeah, I, I've seen you lying on a rock with a light bulb on you, <laughs> basking Sucking away. In the UV, <laughs> basking mm. in the UV, raising mm. your raising your spines to to lose heat when you want to. I've seen you. Mm. Mm. I've got a light on here and I feel very comfortable. Mm. And, I, and unfortunately, we haven't been able to balance the colour, so you do look weirdly greenish compared to... I keep flipping There you go. That, look, you just flicked back to human skin again. tone there. Hu yeah. That's the human side coming out. And that's then human. over here... Whoa, whoa. Oh, lizard boy. <laughs> oh, it's lizard boy. All right. This is like... Uh, your, our failure to understand white balance is like those YouTube channels that can't tell the difference between being a secret lizard and MPEG encoding. So <laughs> it's happening again. Try not to lean to the edge of the frame, otherwise you go lizard. Right. So, otherwise they'll see my true lizard otherwise nature. See your lizard form. Um, so the story I want to tell you is from Penryn, and I'm very nervous now uh, that uh, someone from Penryn is here because this is probably the most famous story from Penryn. Oh, it's the Penryn okay. tragedy. Oh. My stomach made my stomach made an audible noise, which I think came out on the thing. Let's there. hope that the mic. So I'm going to say it again. The Penryn tragedy. James, you promised me a swashbuckling tale of adventure. 
Oh, I I have been well, ready to buckle swashes and if poss- if necessary and if necessary splice main braces. And now oh, you yeah. tell me it's a tragedy. You can splice your main brace. You can splice any of the your sort of side braces that you're not that bothered about. Probably warm up on them before splicing your main brace. Exactly. You don't want to mess up on the main brace enough like a fool. Um. So what happened was there was an absolute lad and his parents ran a pub in Penryn. Now, I haven't been able to find out what the name of that pub was, but I know that according to... Your friend of mine, friend of the show, Peter Underwood. Peter there Underwood, sort of there he is. Glow, is that president is that a- of the Ghost Club Society? I can't tell from you where you're holding it, but is the is the author photograph a Dutch angle? Is the camera at a jaunty angle, even in the? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Because nobody the would have a grandfather at a clock at that angle. angle. I think he's just very li- like if I. Which way up? Now, <laughs> that's the right way up. Yeah, so he's is he, proper reclined. Is he in a recliner and they've they've rotated the camera to suit him and made the grandfather clock look bizarre? Yes, yes I tell you they what, have. Peter Underwood is but that's a the sort maverick. of thing they do for you when you're president of the Ghost Club Society. Yes. Not to be confused with the Ghost Club. No, the, which he was formerly the president the, of. The rival, um, the rival and identically named Ghost Club that he was previously the president of. It's not important. Let's not get into it. Yeah, we do not need to get into that now. Um, that this pub where this happened is reported to be unquiet at dead of night. Heavy mm. thumps and bangs sound in the stillness. Strange whisperings are borne away in the night air and terrifying sighs. If the sentence had ended there, there's not a sigh is not very terrifying. <sighs> <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> and groans disturb the quiet night and echo in the darkness. But why was it so haunted? What sort of tragedy happened there? This, the Penryn tragedy. Wow. That, I didn't even realise you were... I wasn't looking at you then and I didn't realise you were reading. I thought, James is being very eloquent. <laughs> I thought you were just. I thought you were describing it in your own words, right up until you started <laughs> complaining about the size. <laughs> uh. Oh. <laughs> that, but the thing is, disappointing uh, people is is quite scary, isn't it? And if you imagine disappointing a ghost, that'd be terrifying. I'm really afraid oh, of yes. disappointing people. <sighs> I mean, the amount of effort quite... we put into this stream doesn't bear that out. But I am afraid yeah. of disappointing people. Yes, yes. Like if you w- sh- want to show someone a YouTube video so much that you hand them your phone, mm-hmm. and they have a look at how long it is and go, <sighs> "That's that's quite frightening." Maybe that's what was happening with the ghosts. Maybe. So, what happened was the son of the owners of that inn was a bit of a Jack the Lad. Uh, he went roving to the sea. I'm taking a lot of quotes from the um, the telling of it in the aforementioned Cornish Legends. What's it called? You know the eighteen the eighteen sixty five retelling of the tale. So there's oh, a bit oh, of fruity yeah, yeah. language in here. Oh, okay. oh Be nice. Be ready for it. So he went roving to the sea and took a boot from all they could master, which means basically pirated people. Like, took booty. Like in the sense of booty, yeah. Yes. Uh, not just a shoe, which would be annoying, <laughs> which would cause someone to go... It would be Ugh. rascalsome behaviour. Um, and what happened, they accidentally blew up their own ship near Turkey. Classic okay. lads. Yep, yep. Woo, woo, woo. Fortunately... This lad was a good swimmer and he swam to the island of Rhodes, which is a Greek island, which is very near Turkey. But still, a big oh, yeah. swim. As in, if you're swimming from a blown up boat. As in Gary Rhodes. Not as yes. in where we're going, we Rhodes. don't need Rhodes. No, no you, if you're going to Rhodes, you absolutely need Rhodes because that's where the airport is. Uh, you have nowhere to land. Yeah. As in the Colossus of Gary Rhodes. Yes. <laughs> It's got the hair. Massive, huge chef. Uh, and he swam to Rhodes and then got busted trying to sell on the governor of Algiers jewels. Not a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> and he was so, sold into slavery. Uh, and, oh, sorry, Jim Moon has asked if all roads lead to Rhodes. Uh, no, they don't. It's an island. <laughs> so so no roads lead there. No roads. 
very the opposite of roads. Mm. Uh, boat path? No, it's not paths on a boat, is it? No, Roots. it's just the, it's just the sea. You just go anywhere you want, General mate. General sea, I think. So this guy got went to sea because he was sold into slavery, put in a galley. Bad luck. And I quote, with wit and valor, took opportunity and means to murder some officers. What? Hold on a minute. It's... I was I was well on his side before he committed murder. With using wit and valor. I I am in favor of wit and valor, but when you said he was an absolute lad, I didn't realize he was going to murder several people. That's not well, banter. That's not top bants. <laughs> it, that is low quality bants. Mm. Yes, that is very poor. It's like I don't know. Trying to think of a pun on banter that's never been done before. There are none. They've nope. all been done. Everything from banter orange to banter icy lemon. You scrape in the bottom of the banter barrel, James. Yes, definitely. Um, so he managed to get on board an English ship and got safely returned to London. Where no come up became... until the murder then. After the murder, got away with that murder. Oh, right. So the murder was just a fruity sidebar in the journey home. That was how we got off the the the. That's how we got out of the galley, and then he right. got onto a different boat, went to London, became the servant to a surgeon, and then this next bit I can't work out because it's in old world, it's in old English, and I can't work out whether the surgeon got a job in the East Indies or he got a job in the East Indies. But anyway, he ends up in the East Indies. He ends up in the East Indies and makes a load of money, becomes a very rich man, sails back to Cornwall. I think he's via London, so he gets dropped off in London, gets a new boat, sails from London to Cornwall. Even he doesn't want to drive does... it. No, he's seen the drive. Um, <laughs> he does. It he's does he's a been on one... Gook, the, the old Apple Maps, being like, no. No, that, no. Even in an Uber, it's not a. F- no, I mean, I'm doing a boat. Um, now, it doesn't say why. But he got cast away from that boat. Presumably, too much bants. Sorry, like like stranded. They stranded him. Yeah, even well, on, I, even I on think that, they just on a small commuter commuter journey between London and Cornwall. They stranded him. He managed to annoy people that much. Wow! After having got all the way from the East Indies back to London unscathed, mm. he managed to just be too much for that. But they say they cast him away. But he still had to swim to shore again. And it sort of mentions, like, fortunately, he's well good at swimming. We've established he's brilliant at swimming. Yeah, so th- thrown off a boat would be another way of putting that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Hoy. This guy sounds awful. Mm. Uh, so he goes to find... And he works at where his parents are. He actually goes to find his sister, first of all, and and explains to her he's got a classic gag to play on his parents. He's been away for 15 years at this point. Ooh, I'm I'm sighing terrifyingly at this point. At this guy's at this guy creeping his way towards some bant. A single bant. What he's going to do? It's too much for me. Is he's going to pretend to be a poor stranger to his parents. Mm. Just for a laugh. Yeah. And then classic the Jesus day, banter here turning up in yeah. the guise of a of a beggar. Classic but then the next wheezed. day reveal that he's not her yeah. hilarity. Mm-hmm. I think I see why he was thrown off that boat now. Yeah, for being like awful. that's his idea of the best joke to play on his parents who he's not seen for fifteen years. Yeah. So he goes to the he's he's pretty in ragged clothes, but he still has like a a little chest of gold, which the way it's described in the stories makes me think of like a um, what are those dogs with uh, St Bernard. Yeah. Like he's got a kind of old school bum bag, fanny pack, Americans, but it's like a little barrel around his waist. When I was something. a kid, I had I had my lunch money in a little a little tube thing around the neck that they, that the mm. parents gave to nerdy kids to make them easier uh, to bully. I had one of those. I had one of those. Did Mine you said have one windsurfing in Cyprus on it. Did for some every reason. single person in the chat also had one of the only for nerds. <laughs> Money holding things. Mm. A couple of twenty. I think just there. everyone had one. Maybe. <laughs> a 
And they weren't waterproof, though. The, for well, me, not. the point of them was they're waterproof. Or Sorry, my were you one carrying wasn't. around all notes in your in your lunch money packet? I was all I was a fees. high roller. Whoa, what did you have in there? <laughs> It was full of potatoes. How much were you carrying in your little neck wallet? It's one five pound note. One five pound note. Jesus, check this guy out. And a little, um, one of my little Action Force figures. Oh yeah. Probably Hawk. He was my favourite. Um, so I, I used but, to keep and I pogs thought... in them. Also, pogs are not. It's not waterproof. Watch your pogs. No. Pogs are, your pogs and are going to become moist. They, aren't they exact diameter of a? Exact diameter of a pog. Yeah, the pogs can go in, but they'll never come out. Yeah. It's an investment. Unless you take the bottom off, and then you just have to poke them out. But anyway, I thought mine was waterproof, but the hole that the string went through compromised... Uh, it was just yeah. a hole. It just meant it had a hole in the top. Yeah. Thank you Thank you for explaining that, for explaining that in scientific terms. So, yeah. yeah. So, he goes to the inn in his ragged clothes... And his parent, the inn is in a bit of a state of disrepair. His father's fallen on hard times. But they take him in because they're, at this point, quite nice people. They seem like good people. And yeah, they take him in and he's got, he says he can pay for his lodgings and stuff. And he has dinner, has a few drinks. Him and his mum get a bit drunk. And as he goes to bed, he gives her a piece of gold and like shows off his case and there's plenty more where that came from. Ooh. There you go. See, I said I could pay him away. Right? Feels like a bit of a, a narrative turning point, that. And then he goes to sleep and oh no, he says, this is a quote, he says I can pay what you want and relieve your husband's wants. And then falls asleep, drunk. Mm. Yeah, that, that that widely used phrase, relieve your husband's wants. Yes. And then the wife goes to the husband, like, this guy's minted. You know, we, we thought he was, like, he was covered in seawater. Like, he just swum in the thing. He must have been one of those eccentrics that do that sort of thing for charity, like a David Walliams type. type. <laughs> but he's, actually, he's as rich as David Walliams must be. <laughs> and like David Walliams, we should murder him. And, and insufferable. Um, and <laughs> he's well, awful. Yes. Everybody hates him. He used to be, <laughs> he used to be popular, but now we all hate him. He murdered several people on a boat. He's exactly like <laughs> David Williams. He kept blowing up his own boat and having to swim to shore. Maybe that's why Williams swam the channel. Maybe he was he, actually he had on a ferry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just kept doing funny voices in the duty free, and they're like, "We're not for you, Williams." <laughs> That is offensive. Get off. <laughs> you can't um, do that nowadays. It's 2021. <laughs> um, and The other guy on the boat is played by Matt Lucas doing that accent. I was going to say, yeah, that, that sounds like a Matt Lucas character. It is. It's Matt Lucas um, doing, um, uh, what's the name of the one from Take That? Not Barlow. Robbie Williams, but Gary Barlow. That's, how, that's Matt Lucas's Gary Barlow voice that I was doing. Carry on. Oh, very nice. Can I read more from the Gary Barlow? No, I'm not going to get the Gary Barlow water biography and read more from it. My take. Um, so the wife get, get, goes on her husband. Look, this guy's rich. We need to murder him and take his money. That's the only mm -hmm. thing we can do in this situation. So, and even though he's already said he's going to give him loads of money, mm -hmm. that she's still, look, we need to murder him. So the husband goes down. Whilst the guy's drunk, murders him and Whoa. hides him under okay. some sheets. Do we know how he did and it? And then, I so think stabs. Bonk on. Oh, I'm guessing stabbing. stabs. A stabbing? Mm. Wow. I don't think I could be talked into a stabbing that easily. He's got a little barrel. He's got like a, one of them, you know, wind <laughs> Oh, yeah, sorry. In. I forgot he had a thing full of pogs. Fair enough. Yeah, I'd do it. Mm, golden pogs. Couple of keenies in there. Yeah, a tippity tappity, perhaps. A tippity tappity. Was it? That was the that was the pog everybody wanted in the first the first batch of pogs. The one everyone in my school didn't have was tippity tappity. We were obsessed with getting it. Out of interest, was there is there a difference between the pog, the 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 hitter and the hittee? 
Yes. Was so, one like special? Uh, uh, yeah, the like one that used to hit is called a Keeney. And, uh, That's a keeny. And the pogs are, are the cardboard ones in the stack. Ropes of Sand are saying, I prefer Tazos. Ban him from the chat. I, I won't stand we're for gonna, this kind of nonsense. Get him, we're going to need it. to refer you get, to an earlier get them out episode of it. Um, where we talk about the, the problems that Tazos have caused. <sighs> we don't talk about Tazos. Let's mm, just move on. Not anymore. I think I'm, I'm actually prohibited from talking about Tazos. Tazos. <laughs> I have to say Tazos <laughs> in order to get around it. Like that old Nerds thing. <laughs> uh, we edited that nerds thing out of the podcast. Oh, did we? So, yeah, we edited oh, that. So nuts. nobody apart from you and oh, me. Oh, we know didn't what have etymology corner. We, no, I left etymology corner in, but I, I, I edited out the nerds, nerds bit. Nerds. So it makes oh. no sense to anybody. And we're at, we have me. thirty minutes left in our slot, so I should stop oh, interrupting bum. and let you get back yes. in with the story. So, ne- nightfall. Well, it's night already. They go to sleep. Husband and wife go to sleep after all that murder. Ties it ties you out. A Next morning, of murder. Sister comes round, knocks on. Hey, where's your visitor? And parents are like, what, vi- what visitor? No visitor. No visitor here. And the sister's like, where's the sailor? And I'm like, what what sailor, mate? Don't know what you're talking about, sailor. It's just it's like a really annoying sailor. Thinks he's funny, but he's not. <laughs> and she's like, go and look at the scar on that sailor's arm and you're going to know who it was. So the dad goes up to the room where the body is, mm-hmm. looks at the scar on the arm, realises he's murdered his own son and with a knife, sticks it in his throat. Straight away, straight in his own throat. This is where it becomes an absolute bloodbath now. Oh, what? Straight in his own throat. This guy is very stab happy. This guy needs the smallest of motivations. And then the knife's whoa, 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 all over the place. Well, it seems to be a family trait because he dies. The wife comes up to see why he's been so long, sees what's happened, sees them both dead, takes the knife, does the same herself. (laughs) Flower everywhere, I'm guessing. Wow. The sister? And then the daughter comes up, just trips sees onto the what's knife, happened, and she just just simply falls down and she dies. simply just dies. <laughs> she she just, just simply dies from seeing it. She just dies for narrative reasons without a, an actual cause. That, yeah. Do you know what technique I use to um, to tell if someone is a close relative rather than looking at a scar? Oh yeah. I, I look at their face. That's how I do it. Go on. Yeah. No. No. That's my technique. You know, hey, nobody's ever accused me of being the, the the king of remembering people's faces or being able to tell what emotion they're doing based on their eyebrows. But <laughs> that is the technique I use, and it has it's never served me never served me wrong. Hmm. Hmm. So well, if only he tried that. Those are the ghosts that Peter Underwood seems to be referring to in Ghosts of Cornwall by Peter Underwood. Hmm. No wonder they're the sighing. And the sigh. Because he'll be constantly Ugh. making awful jokes. Ugh. With banters yeah. and schemes. And they'll be like, oh, Ugh. this again. Well, he did the ultimate bad joke, really, didn't he? And that, is... I, think that, I think the category pranks gone wrong yeah. needs to be one for this one. So, that yeah, that's the tale of the, the Penryn tragedy. Wow. I mean, you. I think you, you've missold it. When you said it was swashbuckling, I think... It just annoying, just annoying. He's more annoying than he is swashbuckling. Yeah. I think as, he as a blew character. up a boat. Admittedly, it was his own boat. That is, yeah, that's up. annoying. At every turn, he does the most annoying thing possible. Yes. So, what we're going to do, I guess, is ask the chat to help us generate some categories for the scores. Yes. We've got I think two. I think you're right. That prank gone wrong is a really good category. Yeah. Um, but. Uh, the, if you have an idea for a category, so if you haven't watched uh, or listened to a lawman before, we normally score things with names and how supernatural they were, how good the names were, how many ghosts there were, usually. And mm-hmm. then two other categories. And Prank Gone Wrong. Uh, uh, suggestion from Plaza, which The Sea, The Sea, of course. The good, Sea, The Sea, Good call yes. back to one of That's our That's a potential seven. <laughs> Bants, the Pirates of Pence Bant of Pen Bant. Oh, that's nice. I think that is that is looking. The Pirates of Pen Bants. Yeah. yeah. 
Yep. That's strong. I like lads, that. lads, lads. Buckles swashed. That's a quite a good numerical category there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, yeah. Now, are, are we able to separate bants from pranks, or are the, are is pranks pranks part of the bants? Do we need a category? That I think isn't it's pranks about part being of the bants. I think that's yeah. all. A so we humor. so we, so we still need a fourth category that isn't about either bants or pranks. Stabbery. About yeah, the swashes buckle. Stabbery. Yeah. 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 What's well, the, I, um, perhaps though the stabbing could be considered part of the swashbuckling. So number of swashes buckled yes, is probably yes. a good one. Swashes buckled. Okay. In, in that case, we've got four. That's it. That's our that's our quota. In that case, I'm going to do a seamless Thanks transition. Very much, chat. Streamless transition into the scoring section. Let me have a little sip. Seamless, not streamless. Good God. Imagine we've if the stream went down. Going. Power of my words. Power of my words. What a horrible story of. An annoying yeah. person, James. Yes. What uh, it's I sort of mm, within the I can't find the words to express how annoying he is without using bleeps without having to. I, I can't. I can't say it and not then edit it out. Have you seen on in America, Gordon Ramsay's career has become because you know here he used to do the thing where he'd go to a restaurant and kind of. Annoy you know, everyone turn it around awful. and stuff yeah. like that. He used to do that in America, but before he was famous, he would he could go to the restaurant and eat there as a customer, yeah, and then go. And they just think he was an awful English people. man. They just say yeah. he he's just a terrible human being before they know he's a celebrity. But now he's become so famous, he has to go in like elaborate disguise, like fa- like makeup, big noses on, what old Jeremy man Beadle ears. style. Beadle style. Right. And this story really made me think about that and wish <laughs> that this sort of thing. All he has to do is eat a restaurant with connections Ramsey. to the mafia. And they'll be like, there's a really annoying guy. Yeah, the huge nose, large glasses, mm. large false mustache. There's a limey must- in there. Mustache. <laughs> He's trying to pretend to be an American. Someone needs to rub him out. Hmm. And he's then not, he just gets he's impolite to murdered. the serving people and the chef. And it's then someone not, comes up and goes, rude. do you know that was Gordon Ramsay? Brilliant. Even I'll, better. I'll Even better. <laughs> Good. So, um, so what we're saying is, please, uh, hopefully someone will kill Gordon, Gordon Ramsay. Um, okay, I don't think you can say yeah, that on Twitch. Yeah, yeah. Let's Imagine I didn't say that and don't reference it Definitely. in the comments. Yes. So... Let's do the scores. Yeah, let's score it. What, first uh, cat- what's your first, first category? First of all, okay. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Naming. Naming. Um, what was the name of the guy, the main guy? Don't know. It's zero out of five. Penryn? Penryn's okay. The Penryn tragedy? We don't even know this guy's name. What's his name? Make up a name. Johnny Baubles. Ian Cheese. Uh, Stephen Martin Trousers. the Pirate. Martin the Pirate? That's worse than S- S- Simon Cheese or whatever I just said. <laughs> um, Neil... We had Gary, Gary Rhodes? Johnson. Gary <laughs> Gary Rhodes, the celebrity Gary chef. Gary Rhodes came up. <laughs> okay, he's the best celebrity chef we've referenced so far. But still, mm. he was always polite. We had some big names in there. Ben we had Rin- we had the Colossus of Gary Rhodes. The Colossus we of Gary Rhodes. We had Gordon's Ramsay. We yes. had... David Williams, and they're apart from the Colossus of Gary Rhodes, we they're two annoying, min, at, at the minimum annoying people. Yeah, uh, yeah. The lizards, right. the lizards. Lizard okay, Peninsula. the lizards of Penzance, the lizard peninsula. No, the lizard peninsula is a great name. Yeah, you're right. Dark it's, it's Marianne. Wrong. It's wrong. That I, that one's got a faintly racist twinge to it. So it's I'm, my great grandmother, Dark Marianne. Oh, you can't be racist to your own grandmother. Fair enough. <laughs> Some of my favourite great grandmothers were racist. <laughs> I've never no. met anybody with as many great grandmothers as you, James. DMA, um, she was so called. It was. I don't. It probably was to do with her looks, but it was also because she practiced the dark arts. Oh, okay. She used to read tea leaves. She told fortunes, cheated at cards, all of it. Mm. I think we need a whole episode just about dark Mary. DMA. Yeah. Oh, definitely. So, so I'm not yeah. awarding any points now in order <clears throat> you can enjoy them at a later date. 
I Sorry. am giving you a two out of five, purely, purely for the Lizard Peninsula. Yes. Okay. Second What's category. Second category. Let's do it. Supernatural. Supernatural. Uh. Oh, imagine hearing a sigh in a pub. Imagine a pub that wasn't quiet at night. Oh. <laughs> they should put one of those signs up saying, please respect our neighbours. <laughs> Don't the, haunt. Go, please stop haunting the pub. The, go to your home if you want to haunt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you don't have to go, but you can't stay here. Oh, you have to because you're ghosts and uh, you, you, you're ghost forever to do that. All right, never mind. Ding, ding, ding. Um, well, I'm leaning towards a four out of five because there's four ghosts. Unquiet. Yeah, there's four ghosts at least, right? Four ghosts. So Some... you, that's a minimum four. What have you got to, yes. uh, to, to edge that up to a five? He was supernaturally good at swimming. Yeah. Maybe I he mean... learned because he kept getting thrown off boats for being annoying. So he yes. just learned how to swim. A baptism of water, I suppose. If you're gonna be that annoying, you you better be able to back yourself up with some strokes. Yeah. I bet he was one of those butter people who does butterfly as well. They're oh really, yes. Really annoying, taking up way more space than you need in the lane. It's not They should efficient. pull more of a face when they come out of the water though. Like they're sort of just <laughs> breaking free after like almost <laughs> drowning or something. <laughs> Or just do a different expression each time, like you're playing that game, yeah. like like a flick book. <laughs> yeah, that's the true butterfly stroke. <laughs> yeah, they should get marked on points for face. Anyway, yes. points for me for supernatural. I'm on a four. Yeah, you're on I'm a four. I'm seeing if I can push it up to a five with someone being quite good at swimming. I, I do not believe that that's supernatural, James. I think that being quite good at swimming is is within the bounds of nature. Fair enough. It's four yeah, out of five. All right. Four out of five. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, did, and... uh, James, did you show off the Lawman t-shirt there but when you were doing your swimming? Oh. Yeah. Oh, very yeah, nice. Yeah, we got some new. I got the old Lawman oh, t-shirt your... there. Yeah, yeah, I'm wearing it. That's it. There we go. This is embroidered. <gasps> this one. Oh, I look at it glinting, glint, glist, glistering, wanna... glistering in the in the light. Wow, the the white balance is working now, and it's making that look great. Wow, if I were a listener to the show, I would buy that. Anyway. Mm. Um, and I, I, then... I would buy loads of them in order to make us producing them in the first place financially viable. Mm. Mm. Worth it, yes. Um, there... What was it? What was I it? forgot the other... No, yeah, I started trying I to sell t-shirts. the other categories. The third category... I'm going to say Pirates of Penbance for fourth. Yes, and the, so third category, the third category. We all agreed what it was. Is... Would, would anyone in the chat like to remind us of what the third category was, so we can move on? Because we could be at this section of the podcast for a while. Come on, I know the what chat. it is. Oh, you know what it is. Okay, category three. Yep. Swash is buckled, or oh. buckles swashed, if we're going to oh. go that way. Buckles swashed. I think swash is swash is buckled would be grammatically correct. A swash buckle a buckle squashes. Yes. Are we, are we we're going back into tongue twisted territory yeah, now, yeah, yeah, aren't yeah. we? I'm not a swashel bucker. I'm a, buck <laughs> I'm a buckle swasher. That's definitely going to end up we swearing if I keep going on that. We cannot say that. Swash yeah. is buckling. Well, throwing David Williams off a boat. That's a swash buckling. Swash yeah. buck. What does swash buckling mean? Is it like a, a wizard scheme? Is I, it an old... I think. 70% of accidents at sea are caused by improperly buckled David swashes, Williams. James. <laughs> All right. 70% 70, 70 of accidents at sea are caused by David Williams. And the, yeah. But they won't stop him, and the media won't talk mm. about it. So <laughs> before this Glad stream gets cancelled, <laughs> that's the whole of Lawman was just to reel you in to reveal the truth, which is, um, which is that David Williams is the greatest cause of death at sea. Is Williams our new... Um... The no other person that I don't want to say, Saturday, Saturday <laughs> night person whose name I don't want to say. I, j I said his name. I'm sorry. I said his name. <clears throat> the as associate of Blobby, if you prefer. Friend mm. of Blobby. Yeah. That's <laughs> one of A friend of Blobby. It's a euphemism. We know what it means. Mm. It means no mm. Edmonds. Mm. No, so, Edmonds, David Williams. Being thrown off two boats on. for being a, 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 a. I'm sorry, dickhead. I've said yes. That is, that's, that's a swashbuckling. Well, I mean, you sort of rewrite in history there. He was thrown off the first boat. Well, mm. he was thrown off the first boat because they blew it up by accident. 
blow so it up your own boat. that does actually fit in your remit. That's what He was thrown off the boat. I mean, this guy's uh, one, no. one step away from jumping onto a sail and then using his knife to slide down the slail, sail. Yeah. To, using his knife to slide down the sail to slightly slow down his fall to the mm. point where he can land comfortably on the deck. But massively slow down the boat. So it can't get away from the <laughs> sea authorities. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I've ever seen anyone deal with the fallout of somebody doing mm. that. You never see the people yeah, have someone to just the sewing sails. it up. Well, it's like, oh, who's going to repair that? Errol Muggins here, probably. Errol Bloody Flynn. Is that what he thinks? A man that Errol Flynn, Flynn thinks he's Errol Bloody Flynn. <laughs> <laughs> Can what we say that? bloody? Splicing a main sail. I think we do say bloody without bleeping it. Okay, good. Because otherwise that would sound a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, That's explosions. The bleeping, are bleeping makes everything sound pH worse. Wade. Thank you. Yep, explosions. So I think we're up to about three now. Two, two no, two, two times going in the sea. Explosion. Uh, Stabby. Stabbed by your own dad. That's yeah. Pretty swashbuckling. Um, yeah. A night, a nighttime dad stab. That's good. Tell me you have yeah, more I than think... three, James. Tell me there's more than three. You didn't there's go for so this much, category. But he. Wait a minute, what did he do? He not only did he take boot from all they could master. Oh oh yeah. Taking but he boot. also used his wit and valour and uh, to take opportunity and means to murder some officers. Yeah, okay. Just the murdering of people. It's not exactly You're not swash- gonna On the other hand, swashes. I've forgotten that they they were they taken him slaves. So if they were slave if they were the slave keepers They are fair, fair play then. That's I'm back on his side now. I'd forgotten that they that that was what happened. Four out of five. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay then. And just to clarify Final against mm. slavery, this guy. But yeah, we are not against in favor. slavery and I realised listening back that I came out, I came down very strongly against him for killing people who had taken him slave as a slave. It, yes, they were. Yes, I it was good that. that he killed those slave owners. Let's mm. move on. Move on to the next category. The end of it. Uh, final category: the pirates of Penn's Bants. Oh. Beep, beep, beep. Mm-hmm. I think not mm-hmm. since not since Dean Swift have we had such a a rascalsome lad, such a such mm. a bantosaurus. Yeah, such he a is bantam the the bird. Yeah, Probably he's bant, bantam weight. A bantam in this bird. this means it's at the top. Yeah, this, bant, yeah, yeah, banter weight. That works sort of. Mm. Mm-hmm. Dean Swift. Um, as Dean Swift, doing friend of the show, Dean yep. Swift's catchphrase. He's banter and commander of the... I can't remember the rest of that film name. <laughs> Does that work for any other... Boat-based boat, fa- boat, boat based films? Yeah, no, I was thinking uh, of... Um, yeah, Mutiny on the Banty. Oh, that's really good. And Das Bant. But that's about <laughs> a Oh, it's <laughs> to end all all the streams now. Yeah, that's that the end one. of the show. I'm, I think um, I'm going to end everything with that. Uh, it's five out of five, <laughs> purely for Das Bant. For and, Das Bant. God, imagine being on that submarine. <laughs> the constant... <laughs> oh, the constant an... And also, they're all German. It's, so it's all like German like German people's German idea of bant. a prank. What is German for Bant? It's like, um, oh, has anyone got the uh, the normal scissors? These are left-handed scissors, and they all fall about laughing. <laughs> we have caught you. We have caught you with one of our jokes. Our practical joke. But we really need the scissors, because we're on a submarine. We can't just get some more scissors. <laughs> are you making fun These of me thinking work. scissors would be necessary on a submarine? You might be doing cutouts. You might be doing a bit of yeah, craft. Yeah, you've got to pass the time. Yeah, it can't, it can't, it can't work just all be time. all dot to dots. Yeah, you've got a job, which is putting red light bulbs in so that they can come on later on. That's your job. Yes. But in You're the downtime, a little bit of... A um, little bit of... Uh, Making button, a... Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know what that's called. Um, Making paper bunting. people. Banting. 20,000 bants into the sea. We've already done... Yeah. Mu- you did mutiny on the banty, right? We Boy, did mutiny on the banty-type yes. bantic... Tight band, tight bantic. 
Pirates, Titanic, Pirates of the Caravan. Titanic, but it's got the word band in there somewhere. <laughs> Good story, James. Mm, good banter and commander, thank you. It's like you're not listening and just thinking at bant puns. Yep. The chat. And also note to self. <laughs> I can't do puns. puns. As as the chat is very obvious from the chat, I can't do I don't have the right kind of um mind for doing puns, so I'm always left out. Oh. Yeah, can't do that bit. But you know loads of words. I know. You know way I, I more guess words. That's you just need to think of two words, words that sound similar. Can't do it. That's literally all it is. Swiss Bantley Robinson. Come on. Has that got now. a boat in it? Isn't Switzerland famously landlocked? No, they're on an island. They are on an island. In they're Swiss Sw- Bantley Robinson. Do you think the Swiss family Robinson is set in Switzerland? Yeah, they're Swiss. It's a Swiss family. <laughs> <laughs> it's on. It's, they're shipwrecked on an island, James. Have you seen... Have you just made wild no. assumptions about the Swiss family Robinson? Yes. I presume it was set in Switzerland <laughs> because they're a Swiss family. Where's American Psycho set? Okay. Yeah, you got me there. Yeah. Where's an American werewolf in London take place? No, no, America. In, uh, no, also America, yeah. The name. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ba- Bantleship Potemkin. Good work, Mike Reeve. That's very good. That is good. very good, Mr. Reeve. Uh, and broke back mountain. Not about boats. Doesn't count. Yeah, that's a mountain. That's definitely that's they don't get mountain. shipwrecked in that one. Yeah, that's I'm probably not saying in Switzerland or somewhere that has mountains. Banty Dick. That's like Moby Dick. Oof. It's not. Mm. So, James. Yes. We've finished recording the episode. We were very. That we was were so efficient. Quite this, this is probably going to be like efficient. ten minutes long when it's edited down. Yeah, it's just gonna have. It's just gonna be Das Bant, and that's the end of it. I hope if I get my hands on it. <laughs> no setup, even. It'll just be Das Bant followed by David Williams' slander, and that's the whole episode. <laughs> that's why people come. They just want to hear. Yeah. They want to hear mildly salacious lies about celebrities, and they want to hear puns. And we've got both. Mm. Mm. So what's going to happen in a couple of minutes? We are going to set up a a raid for the next show which yes. is part of the Twinge Festival, which is by Angel yes. Interceptor, who I think is playing some of the worst video games ever made from the description. No, I don't no. think for this one. Oh. I hope I'm right, but I saw, I think I saw, I read, and it may be an out-of-date bit of information, that they are going to be trying to play the entirety of Super Mario World oh. in like three, area, three hours or something. Wow. Well. Which I, that's very impressive. I'd like to see that. Yeah. So if you if you want and you're in if you're in the Twitch part of the stream, we're going to set up a raid and you can join that raid and you can go over there. We've never done this before. We don't know how mm. it works. So we're going to no. do that at five to ten, which is still three minutes away, which means we have time to say thank you and goodbye. That's nice. Yes, it, James. That's going to be quite good of us to do that. Yeah. I've just absolutely quadruple checked that I was recording this time, and thank <laughs> and thanks to me. I'm I slightly was. disappointed we were recording, but never mind. So, Williams isn't. Yeah. Uh, do you want? Do you do you want to say? Uh, do you yeah. want to Tell people about the the old Patreon and uh, and everything else, James. Oh yes. Well, that's your, that's there's our job, Patreon here, thing. but there's the Patreon. Yeah, it goes. Patreon in there, which is how you sort of give money to the Twinge Festival, which is the Twitch version of an Edinburgh Fringe. So I just posted all these comedians there. here are all very annoyed that they're not in Edinburgh, frankly, because it's really a lovely city. It's very nice. It's, um, it's like an and it also that, that smells of some. Wheat. It also it's. I think it's like it a, smells what, of beans on toast. I should have said lithograph anyway. So I, I, I'm a fool. It's like an Escher lithograph that smells of wee. I'm just going to say that and then edit it in if we keep this into the edit. I don't think we can because it involves me pointing. You're right. Too we much. won't keep it in. Doesn't matter. Um, and yes, uh, and a, and uh, it also goes to the charity of the Twinge, the nominated charity, which is Mind, which is a mental health charity, which is a very good thing. Yes. So it means please... like Mind, like your mental health, not like Mind, meaning get out of the way. It's not. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's not, not a charity raising awareness about being in the way. No, no, that is a different charity and i'm going to spend cool. watch out the next minute thinking what that might be called watch out yes yeah <laughs> yeah yeah charity watch out Prime watch uh, out 
uh, which uh, which was formed. It was originally called. You make a better door than a window. <laughs> oh, I never used to get that. I never used to understand that. I'd sort of go, thanks, and continue <laughs> to stand in the way. And you are exactly the shape of a door as well. So I'm, they may just I'm, be com- 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 complimenting your square physique. Mm, like, yeah, I suppose I would. Weird, you weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, can I? Have oh, you want to watch Noel's house party? Okay, well, you should have said. I'll sit down. <laughs> Being stood, saluting Noel's house party in the centre of the lounge, right in front of the puffy. Um, do we pop? How do we pop the raid in? Have you? You got? I'm, I'm going to do pasted? that now. It is five two. So let's see if I press enter, something might happen. Oh, we Lord used Menpod it. Use it's... raid. Um. Angel 62 Insta. viewers are ready to raid. Oh, now. okay. Okay, you ready? So lots of people Should are ready we go to raid. Ready for any more? 63, 64. Oh, this is like being in a sort of um, one with the hammer. Homes under the hammer. Homes no. under I, 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 I can't see you anymore, James. So if you're miming to me, I don't understand it. 65 How viewers. How come you can't see me? Oh, you've got a different I'm, screen. I'm, up. I've moved over to the click to click raid now, unless you want okay, to. Okay, we're. I think we're. Uh, I don't know how. Um, I think views. all sixty six clickety click. Well, let's say a very Whoa. quick thank you. Thank yes. you very much thank for you watching slash for listening. This. Yeah. Oh, thank you, you. And thank you to Matt Haas for organising Twinge. Sorry for speaking over you, James. It's all right. We're we're tr- we're excited. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, it's gone down to sixty six. It's not going to happen. Sixty seven. Two more. Two more. Sixty nine. Come on, how can we make come people on, happen? Come I don't on. think it's, it's going to happen. It's the funniest of all the numbers, officially. It's <sighs> it's on a countdown, it's going to happen. 66 is going down, it's going to happen whether I click raid now or not. All right, get Let's ready, hold it. on to your trousers, hold on to Enjoy Simon Cheese. Super Mario. Enjoy Super Mario World, and goodbye. Sorry, lizards. Oh, it's countdown. Oh, have we gone too? We're going to go as well. I can't see it.